back. So I've made a new test right here that we're going to try this lesson. This is going to be a test where we try to work with changing methods inside our mock so that we can validate that if we get specific replies from our different services, we expect something specific to happen in our UI. And in this case, what I want to test is that when I actually get an image, should show an image, let me just read it, should show uh, image tag when product with URL is loaded async from the product service. And how do we do that? Well, let's try and jump into our product list component right here. What you'll notice is whenever we get products, we expect that if those products has a picture ID on them, the file service will get the file URL and if that succeeds, it'll get a URL back. Now we're just going to trigger everything in this test right here. We're going to say that if I call the get products, I'll get one product back. And if I call the file service with a specific picture ID, then I'll get any URL back. So it should actually work and I'll test the entire setup right here in a single test. We will break that down into smaller tests later. You can if you want to, uh, but right now let's just make a, a test just to show you how easy it is to mark these different requests right here. Jumping back to my code and jumping into my spec file, there we go. So we have the test right here. What we're going to do first is we're going to start out by explaining to the mark what should be returned when we call get products. So all the way in the top of your file up here, you'll see that I'm actually right now saying if I call get products on my product service mock, I'll get back a blank array right near or actually an observable containing a blank array. I want to do something better than that. I want to return an observable containing one single product in an array. So we're going down here and instead of returning this, what I'm going to return is I'm going to say helper dot get products and I want to get a single product, right? That's all I had to do. Now this guy returns an actual product inside an observable. So the first mock is now saved, pretty much meaning that when I go into my component list again, you'll notice that this part right here is now actually returning some products. So when I pipe this, I will have a list of products right here, a list with a single product, but a list, right? So I can run over that list and does the product have a picture ID? Then I have to call the file service get file URL. Now if we go back to the spec file and I go down into my helper right here, you'll notice it does have a picture ID. So I will call that method. So what we'll have to do is the same thing like we did with the product service. I have to call my file service mark and on this one I'll say get file URL. Again, that's the name for the method. Let me try and show you. Jumping back to the component, get file URL on the file service, right? So I'll call that method and just like with my product service right here, I'll call and and I'll say when you call that, I'll return and right now I'll just return again a URL. It doesn't matter. I don't even have to put in a URL. It just needs some kind of string because I'm not doing any test that the URL is valid or anything like that yet. So I'll just return a URL right here. So now what I've done is pretty much explain to the system that when you call this guy get products, return the list of products. And when you call a file URL at any point, then return this URL right here. I could be more specific, but I'll just keep it simple for now. Good. The next thing I want to do is I want to do the expect. But before I do that, I want to kind of execute all of this code. I want to do the ng on init. And when the ng on init is, is run, I want to do um, the actual um, re-rendering of my HTML. Pretty much meaning that if we go back here, what I want to trigger now is two, two steps. First, I want to call ng on init to actually execute all this code and set up my products. The th but the difference is this time when I do the ng on init, there will actually be some products with some actual URLs in there, right? The second thing I want to do is when that is done, I want to re-render the HTML because then the async call will automatically be called and build my UI like this. And then I can do the test if there's actually an image available now after it loaded that uh, product. Let's try and jump back to the product spec. So what I'll do right here is very simple. Because of the way I've set up my detect changes now, I can just do a fixture detect changes at this very point right here. Okay, so now I know I'm going to get back this product, this URL, I can wait until I'm ready and then I can do my detect changes. The last thing I can do is I can use my expect and say I expect that, let's use the helper, to actually go and count the number of image tags. There should be one, right? So that should be one, right? So that's how easy it is. So let's see if the test actually runs. Oh, we're getting an error. Oh, I can see a problem right here. <laughs> this, of course, also needs to be an observable. So I'll just do the off statement right here. It's not enough just to return a string, of course. Dumb of me. I need to, of course, 
wrap this in an observable because the get file URL will also return an observable uh, just like uh, this guy does up here with the product service. So let's try again with this off keyword now and do a refresh. Now sometimes you have to refresh manually when you get errors like that and there we go now everything is actually running and we just loaded the image asynchronously. So let's just try one more similar test right here. I'll just paste it in here. So it should not show uh, image tag when product does not have picture ID and is loaded uh, asynchronously. So let's just try this one. So what I'll do is I'll get the products right here. Notice what I want to show you here is that you can actually on your helper before you actually um, execute the detect changes, you can actually go in and, and change your products if you want to. So I'll, I'll take the zero product right here and I'll say the picture ID should be equal to undefined. So now there's no um, picture ID and again if you look at the helper it normally puts in a picture ID automatically but now I've just removed that picture ID so that means now it shouldn't actually go in and create that image tag because now I'm not getting back the picture ID meaning again if you look in the code I don't expect that this method will be called because I have an if statement right here okay so that means that this should now be zero so let's try and check it out it passes again, meaning that there's nothing here. There's no picture ID and everything runs. So this is perfect stuff. So now you guys know a little bit about how you can write some, um, some different calls. We're not using the async keyword yet, but we might bring that in later. Right now it's not um, uh, important because we are using the async keyword inside our loaders right here. The, the async keyword is used right here and that actually helps us out a lot in our tests. Good, so let's end it right now and say that was the lesson. Next lesson we'll try and dive even more into these different setups right here and actually start moving some code around. See you next time, have fun.